Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician and here's another exciting episode. Okay, so first off, I want to say thank you, Jerry, uh, or Gary, or Larry, Barry. Have you ever seen Parks and Recreation? Anyway, um, the bolts for the front timing covers here. He caught that I did not put sealant on these, so right off the bat, I'm going to say you're going to need to use some of this sealant right here. Sorry, there's your part number right there. A001989892010. Yep, 2010. And um, you're going to want to put it on the uh, right at the end of the, all these threads because these bolts, all these bolts for the front timing cover go into the timing case. So if you look, if you take some of these bolts out, you can actually see the cam gears, stuff like that. So you're going to need to um, put sealant, this, this orange sealant, you can see it starting to leak out there a little bit right there. There you go. Um, you're gonna wanna put some on the threads. You're gonna wanna make sure the threads are clean. I basically brushed off any debris with a wire brush and then put on some, uh, use some brake cleaner to spray off the bolt to make sure it's nice and uh, the oil, it's not oily or any residue on there, um, stuff like that. And you're gonna wanna make sure to clean off the threads too of that as well. You can see that all over the place there's orange schmutz coming out. Not really so much on that one, uh, but some on those ones. And then I went ahead and did all these ones over here too. So I don't know if you can really see that that much. Yeah, there's a little bit right there on that one. But yeah, stuff like that. You can see the orange right there. So you wanna make sure you do that before you install those bolts. That's why I'm putting it right at the beginning of this video because I didn't put it on the video when that I just posted um, when I put those uh, timing covers on there, there or the front cylinder head covers on there. So um, since we're in that area anyways, I'm gonna um, show you the uh, when you have to replace the um, armature of the cam when you replace the cam magnet with the new style. As you can see here, I've already replaced one of them just so you can see the difference. And then there's the two new ones, or two new ones, one new one, old one, stuff like that. So you can see the difference. These are, according to my parts department, the correct one. So, and then you can see the old one new one so you can actually see if you look inside you can see that one's curved that one's got a sharp edge in there um, so when you replace the cam magnet you got to have this also you need to replace the bolt also because your the work instructions spe specify do not reuse the bolt and there is a different torque you can see this is just a solid uh, cap head bolt and this bolt right here actually has a little washer on it so this, the, the torque does change between the old one and the new one. The old one, I believe the torque was seven Newton meters. The new one, the torque actually says it's five Newton meters and then a 90 degree turn, which seemed uh, like quite a bit to me, but I did on that one and that one works. And you're gonna need a 24 millimeter wrench to do that. Now, it, now let me, let me, let me uh, back up a little bit. It would have been a tiny bit easier to replace this with the front timing cover off, but it's not impossible. You can see right here, if you can't get the 24 millimeter in there, now you can. So just get a 24 millimeter wrench in there and uh, you can hold that in place while you loosen up that eight millimeter nut right there. That's also in the middle there. Same thing with that one right there. Also, I found it easier um, using that to prop the wrench against, to hold it in place, as opposed to trying to hold it with a hand and then loosen up that eight millimeter right there. So um, I'm gonna do this one right now and I'll show you how I did it. It's not the 100% correct way, you know, but it got the job done. Now, if you look at this, you can see right here, there's a flat spot. You will have to install the new one. You can see right there, there's a flat spot right there. You will have to get it lined up with that.
And now, since we have these installed and we have the sealant, we're gonna go ahead and install the new cam magnets. And the sealant is the same as this sealant, the same orange goop. And when you install it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you install it with the connector pointed towards the middle. Same thing on the other side. Alrighty, now uh, I don't think it matters which surface you put the orange schmutz on. You can put it on this one or you can put it on here. I don't think it really matters. Uh, also for these, since these bolt holes do go through into the uh, timing area, the timing case area, you're going to want to put some more of that uh, orange sealant on these bolts for this and these are going to be torqued down to 10 newton meters. Look, it's a Picasso. I'm not sure if this is enough. I hope it's enough. And when I took the other one off, it didn't look like it had very much on there to begin with. So, um, well, this is how much I'm using. This is how much is going on. If it leaks, then I'll take it back off and redo it again. And that's about how much I put on the bolts. If you don't have to worry about getting it all over all the threads as you thread this in it's going to work its way into the threads and any any excess will uh, build up at the top and it'll just it'll it'll be basically um, coat whatever it needs to be coated with yeah it might even be too much Just lightly, just to hold it in place. Okay, so the torque is 10 newton meters or about 7.5 foot pounds. Or 7.3, but 7.5, who's, who's counting the extra 0.2? There we go. You can see some oozing out right there, which would have, and then you can see some oozing down right there also, but that's fine. There we are, got them both on. Now let's move on to getting the intake manifold back together. First off, we're gonna clean off this EGR tube. You can see right here where it kind of bends down into the intake manifold. Uh, you're going to need to take that top half off to get this out. Doesn't matter what tools you have because you have to bend this kind of like up and then out. So you got to snake it out of there and then um, then you can uh, get it out once the intake, with the intake manifold is separated. So we're going to clean this in and out right now. Clean it, not in and out, but clean it out and clean this junk off it. Jerry, you called it. Yep, look at that. It's pretty much clogged with... Uh, EGR soot and whatnot soot build up gunk so yeah we're gonna need to bore that out ream it out get all that out and get it as open as possible there doesn't have to be pretty this part doesn't have to look like that part but all that matters is nice and open oh look at that Nice and open too. No blockages, nothing. Let's get it installed. There's your part number for the gasket, for the tube. First one's gotta go on here. Doesn't matter which way it goes, that way, that way, but you can see some of the ink was right there, so let's put it on that way. Then it's gonna be facing this way because if it's facing that way, you can't really get, you know, mass airflow sensor on there. Now 
Torque on this is uh, don't break the bolts. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get a proper work surface. The seals, they go right there. The part number is right there, 117. 140 Okay, you basically want to shove it down. You can see that there's a lip inside there. There's this center piece. Now you want to shove it down to basically the edge of that lip. The top half is going to go uh, up against that and you're basically, it's basically going to seal. Not like that. like that, where it's right up against there, and the top half is gonna sit right there, then it's gonna sandwich down, and it's basically gonna seal. And you notice on this one, this one doesn't really move. The, uh, I don't know if you noticed on one of the previous videos, the intake manifold seals would spin with both halves of the intake manifold together. So you can see these are already uh, sealing, or they're, they're gonna seal a lot better than the old one. Now we get to put the two halves together. This end goes with that end right there. As you can see, I did lube up this and I lubed up those just to make them go together a little easier. Something like that. Alrighty, these four bolts are gonna be 25 Newton meters, 18 and a half foot pounds. Here are your part numbers for your intake manifold gaskets. These are directional and these do matter side to side. Okay, so the one ending in 1580 goes on the driver's side and the one ending in 2680 goes on the passenger side. Now, one thing you wanna look for is, it's gonna look a little weird because you have a coolant passage right there. And if you look at this right here, it's blocked off. But if you look at the bottom of your intake manifold, on that side, you can see it's just nothing. So that's how it's supposed to be. Now we get to set it on. Something like that. Now this next part, I'm not 100% sure if I'm shooting myself in the foot or not because Looking at the other engine, there is quite a bit of stuff that has to go on um, this intake manifold. I mean, I already knew that, but um, I'm trying to figure out if it's easier to do it with the intake manifold out or to do it with the intake manifold in, such as the throttle body and or the throttle actuator and the mass airflow sensor, which I'm trying to figure out if I should do that outside of the car or outside of the engine or uh, with it in. Um, also, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a vacuum, a vacuum hose that goes there, vacuum hose that goes there, one of, there's, it attaches right here, one of them goes over there, and then there's another uh, hard vacuum line 
that gets it it goes down and then comes loops loops back around and then goes over here something like this one right here this vacuum line that goes down underneath there and then goes under the intake manifold and then comes up right here and then you can see this line goes right there this one goes down there and then this one that attaches to the side of the throttle actuator that goes to over here which goes right here to this one to the top of that um, valve cover so i'm just trying to figure out if all this is easier with the intake manifold out and i did transfer these over just so i know what goes there they're right there um i'll probably move this over too just so i know where that's that's where it goes um stuff like that or actually have a spare one over there oh it's already got it look at that okay so and then this also this needs to get transferred over which bolts right there or actually right here goes threads on right there which i also cleaned out so you know what let's bolt this intake manifold down these right here you're gonna these are broken you can see that right there but you are gonna need this piece with broken or not because this bolt is super long and if you try to thread it down all the way down without that in there you're gonna have about that much sticking out so and then these right here you have all of these there's about 10 of these ones the shortest ones it goes one two three four maybe eight of them I can't count and then back here you're gonna have slightly longer ones on each side and the back and then that little tab goes on that one you can see these ones are a little bit longer they go back there so and these are 28 newton meters we're going to tighten these down to Alrighty, got the intake manifold all uh, assembled and installed. Uh, I, I think what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna do a video just on putting everything on the intake manifold, reassembling, uh, not really reassembling, but finishing, uh, transferring everything over, not really transferring. I mean, maybe the hard metal lines, yeah, transfer, but I have all new rubber hoses that need to go on the intake manifold and uh, I'll go through how to route them and uh, how to install those properly where they need to go stuff like that uh, so I think that'll be uh, the next video and then from then on we'll get to reassembling uh, we'll put the the exhaust manifolds on we'll transfer them over from the old engine and maybe get the um, cap and rotors installed also stuff like that so um, you know maybe the water pump get that properly installed and um, also still got to put the front crank seal on and the pulley and the harmonic balancer so still got to do all that so plenty more to go plenty more to come thank you for watching make sure you uh, hit subscribe give me that thumbs up see you next time